Hey dudes, Boni Finja here and welcome back to yet another video on my channel guys. As you can see today, we are doing a tutorial on how to improve your FPS in Minecraft itself. So coming from a very uh, low end PC back then, I know the best way to improve your Minecraft and I know how you guys feel and you really want to improve your FPS in Minecraft. So today yeah, guys, I'm going to teach you how to do it in 1.16 as well as 1.7 and 1.8 as those are versions that Hypixel usually run on and most people PvP with. So let's get on to the video. So I'm in 1.16.4 in my single player world right now. I'm going to hit F3 to show my FPS as you can see. I'm getting like 221, 187 around the low and when it's rendering a lot of stuff. You can see I'm getting like kind of low FPS even though I have a perfectly decent PC. The reason is I'm recording at a pretty high bit rate so that's why the FPS is kind of low. But for most people it will be lower and it will be more at 30 FPS. So to get over the smooth 60 FPS, we're going to need a mod called Sodium. So I'm going to quit the game when we're going to Chrome or the web. We're going to type in Sodium Mod. So yeah, you're going to click the first one that comes up at Minecraft Curse Forge. So this is a mod that absolutely boosts your FPS or in some cases double it or triple it. So this mod is made by Jelly Squid. It's a pretty good mod. It's only for 1.16 or 1.12, I think, and above. Or 1. I'm not sure, but 1.15, 1.16, around that. So you won't get this for 1.8 or 1.7. So this runs on the Fabric Loader, which you might need to download from here. So I'll link everything, all the downloads, in the description below so you guys can download it. So right here, we're going to click Download Installer, Windows.exe, because most of you do use Windows. So now we're going to run it. As you can see. So it's going to come up with this small window here. It's like, well, it's like Optifine. So, so the Minecraft version is 1.16.4 and the loader version will be one of the latest, which is 0.10.8. So this is going to create a roaming.minecraft in the installation. So it's going to create a profile. We want to create a profile in our Minecraft. So hit install and it's done. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're actually going to download the Sodium mod. So we're going to download the latest version here for 1.16.4, which is the latest version of Minecraft. So this will take a bit of time depending on your internet speed, but it relatively should be really smooth. So we're going to say keep and this is the Minecraft mod here. So we're going to go to our app data. So we're going to type in run. This, this app will help us get to our app data quicker. So we're going to type in percentage, app data, percentage. You can see here, we're going to hit OK. And right, we're back in the app data roaming folder. And you can see here dot Minecraft. So you're going to double click that and then go to mods. We're going to drag this in to our mods folder, as you can see here. And there we go, it's reinstalled. So now we're going to close this, and then we're going to close this, we're going to run our Minecraft. So it has automatically created a fabric loader installation for us. But if, but if you, for example, if this was not here, we're going to, if you want, and you want to find it, you're going to create a new installation, and you're going to go here, release fabric loader 0.10.8, 1.16.4, and it should create automatically somewhere down here. So right now we're here with the fabric loader, we're going to hit play. So it's initializing for the first time, so it's going to take a bit of a while, but other than that, you should just wait, just, just don't disturb it yet. As you can see, it's running now. And my PC is getting a bit hot, but yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not very high on PC. So yeah, in twenty twenty, this kind of PC is like kind of old. So yeah, but so we're gonna go in the single player now, and we're gonna see our world and see the difference in FPS. So right now we've loaded in, as you can see, immediately it's really smooth already. Without without the without that, it was kind of without sodium, it was kind of choppy and stuff. But now it's pretty smooth and we're going to hit F3. As you can see, we have an FPS boost because if I, if I was to look down here, now I'm getting like 300 FPS and 250 instead of the 187 I was getting just now. And if I look up, I'm getting over 400 FPS and 500 sometimes, which is freaking amazing for 1.12.2 because uh, 1.12.2, 1.16.4 because 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 these these uh, Minecraft versions don't really give you that much FPS compared to their older counterparts, because they take up and they take up more RAM and it's more glitchy in that sense, I would say. But as you can see here, the game is now perfectly playable. It should it should vary in different instances for you guys. Like 
some of you will be getting like 300 fps if you're if you're stuck at like 35 you may be able to get 400 you know like the boost is that much it depends on your pc's hardware i guess yeah, or how it's how optimized it is for minecraft so yeah guys so this is um minecraft 1.16.4 with sodium okay so this is a scene without with just vanilla minecraft without sodium and to give you an apples to apples comparison this is the same scene with sodium enabled so as you can see that's a pretty big gap between these two another way to get more stable fps is to increase your memory allocation or ram usage in minecraft so there's a simple way of increasing it within the minecraft launcher itself you're going to go to installations select the installation you where you want to increase your ram usage so right here fabric loader in our case that is so we're going to hit more options and you can see this jvm arguments here these are the arguments that tells how much ram should be used by your pc for minecraft so as you can see here it's telling how minecraft how much ram to use which now is saying five gigs because here this is a number that you want to pay attention to so on default it should be this two gigs but for most people who have more than four gigs of ram you're going to want to increase that so you're going to want to maybe if you have, for example i have eight gigs of memory of ram so i'm going to go for five gigs some people you have four gigs of ram in your pc or laptop you the max you can go for is three do note that it will kind of make your pc a bit laggy the rest of your pc functions but it should make minecraft a lot more smoother and less choppy when you're moving around very fast in your world okay guys i'm going to show you how to improve your fps in minecraft 1.8.9 and 1.7.10 since a lot of people still play high pixel using those versions not it's just 1.8.9 1.7.10 is usually for older pvp servers which are more try hard so we're going to be using the mod called optifine which is a commonly heard mod so here just go to optifine type that out and we're in the optifine page we're going to hit downloads and we're going to show all versions because it only shows for 1.16.4 do note that you cannot use optifine and sodium together it does not work that way because one uses fabric loader and the other one uses forge when you want to install this one obviously you can install as a separate entity by just clicking it but that you can't then you can't put sodium in and it's complicated right so there's no sodium for one minecraft 1.8.9 so we're just going to download optifine which is the second best option so we're going to wait for six seconds five four three two I'm going to skip and we're going to download it immediately so right here so you want to hit keep and you're going to run it we're going to run it right now as it finishes downloading do note that we're going to run minecraft we have to do note you have to run minecraft 1.8.9 first as you can see i'll just run it right here right here there we go now it's run so now we can install minecraft uh, optifine 1.8.9 so you can see it's saying install here in the dot minecraft folder that's where we want it to go you're going to hit install and it's successfully installed it will say that and then we're going to open our minecraft we're going to close this first open our minecraft and you should immediately create a profile called optifine if not you can do the same thing you can create a new one and then you can find uh, optifine somewhere around here it's, 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 it should be right here actually so yeah so we're going to play this and the same message just comes out and it should load really quickly well apparently i already have it more than 10 p so that's kind of cool so we're going to quick sim play i do not want to edit the other world which is in 1.16.4 which will be devastating so yeah uh, there's a lot more options that optifine gives that allows you to lower your fp i mean lower, increase your fps so you can see so right now i have my fps counter in the top left hand corner as you can see i'm getting already around pretty decent fps with optifine like 300 is already good enough you know like as you can see 300 is a pretty good number to be starting around with and yeah so but there's a lot more options that you could go for as you can see so i'm going to go to options video settings and here we get this whole list of options Obviously, the most rent thing that you're going to notice is render distance. It's one thing that you're going to change a lot. So, you want the best FPS settings? I'm going to show you. 
we're going to create graphics to fast. Smooth lighting is completely off. Smooth lighting levels off. GUI skill doesn't really matter. Brightness doesn't really matter. Dynamic lights does matter sometimes, but we're going to hit it off. Yes, shaders is something that will really kill your GPU, and that's not what we're going to get to. So, the details is a very, uh, very large uh, section here. So we're going to hit clouds as fast, trees as fast. Sky usually is off. That will help with the FPS. Sun and moon off. Fog, you want to definitely hit that off because that does lower your FPS. Translucent blocks is fast. Drop items, default or yeah, 2D as fast that'd be great. Vidsnet, you really want to, as you can see here, you can go to fast. Yeah, it will be really faster because it will. The Vidsnet effect is very safe. It's not. It's not very obvious in your game anyway. So you want to hit that fast, but you can really boost your FPS. Some colors doesn't really affect FPS, but it's better. It's faster rendering. Rain and snow does affect FPS because there's a lot of particles in. So we're gonna hit that fast or fancy off. Sometimes off off will be better sometimes. Stars off, so capes, that doesn't really matter. Fog start because you have four off, this doesn't really matter. Health item two tips, this is showing the two tips doesn't really help FPS. Entity shadows, this one alternate blocks doesn't really matter. Smooth biomes doesn't really matter, but yeah. So now anyways, and this is the most important for FPS. So all this will affect your FPS pretty much. So we're going to hit all off. And you can see that we can get a pretty much a big FPS boost. So alternate blocks, this will also help. Use VBOs is a vertex buffer objects, which is faster than the user rendering, but this doesn't really help FPS. Dynamic FOV doesn't, quality does. Quality sometimes does, so uh, not a lot here actually. Connected textures doesn't really help, natural textures, all this, they're not really uh, helping your FPS. It's performance, if you want more stable FPS, this is really good, but yeah. Spread animations on, lazy chunk loading, dynamic updates. This one is all stuff you can experiment with, and yeah. So these are all the options inside here so yeah so now we're going to check back and you can see now i'm getting over like 615 500 you can see obviously the game doesn't look that good but yeah if you have a very bad pc you will like definitely see the boost in fps i'm i'm recording right now so obviously the boost is not as big as it should be but you should be able to get a huge boost obviously if i put this video setting all the way down to two as you can see, I'm getting like 900, 1000 FPS. You can see I'm getting 1400, 1200 FPS, even when I'm recording at such a high bit rate. So yeah, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And do leave a comment down below on what I should do next. And leave any questions in the comment section down below on if you have any problems with sodium or Optifine. I can help you that by replying. So I'll catch you guys all again next time in another video. Peace.